The Department of Science and Technology Secretary would uh, give you a briefing on a good news that we should all be proud as Filipinos. And this is about the Philippines ranking in the just released Global Innovation Index 2019 released 5 p.m. in India, 7 p.m. in the Philippines. Magandang umaga sa inyo lahat. I uh, decided to uh, hold this uh, media briefing because while uh, uh, we can uh, get from the uh, internet, for example, uh, the news on uh, the Global Innovation Index uh, rankings, uh, there might be need to explain uh, some of the uh, components uh, in that uh, ranking, uh, where we are strong and where we are weak. And as uh, Dr. Oryusek uh, Lido mentioned, uh, the areas where uh, we are working on so that the, uh, some of the factors that need improvement will be improved. So allow me now to uh, share with you, these are actually uh, information we obtained. Uh, actually earlier during the day, I was already told of the uh, rankings, uh, but uh, uh, requested that uh, uh, we wait for the official announcement, and that is correct, at uh, 5.30 uh, at New Delhi time, it was announced last night. So the Philippine ranking, this is actually co-published by uh, three uh, institutions, Cornell University in, in Sayad, which is the uh, management school in, uh, in France, <coughs> and the wife of the World Intellectual Property Organization. The next slide uh, will uh, immediately, well, will uh, show us what are the components or uh, the framework of the Global Innovation Index. In essence, these are the criteria, okay, in uh, very uh, broad uh, areas. So you can see on the left side, it says uh, institutions which include uh, the political environment, the regulatory environment, and the business uh, environment. So that is essentially socio-political, economic environment in the country. The second one is human capital and uh, research. And uh, this is reflected in terms of our educational system, particularly tertiary education and uh, uh, with a particular emphasis on uh, uh, the STEM areas, okay? And uh, uh, research and development is also highlighted there. Under infrastructure, well, at, uh, versus institutions, we have infrastructure, and this refers to our ICT infrastructure, okay, as one. Our uh, uh, general infrastructure, which is really the, the build, build, build uh, uh, that we are doing, and uh, ecological sustainability, okay, that is also considered. Now, uh, there are uh, two areas here below uh, which uh, uses the word sophistication. One of them is uh, market uh, sophistication, okay, uh, where uh, the factors of uh, credit, investment, and uh, trade competition and market scale are rated. Okay, so uh, your credit, of course, uh, uh, nandiyan na yung uh, factor ng uh, kung uh, ano ang performance ng mga uh, borrowers, for example, or the availability of credit. And uh, you have also investments. Okay, so uh, I think uh, more recently, uh, if I may just mention, we had also uh, news on a uh, uh, very much improved rating or ranking of the Philippines uh, uh, particularly in the credit uh, uh, area. And uh, uh, we are referring to uh, the Standard and Poor's uh, uh, credit rating for the Philippines, uh, where uh, we actually started way below at uh, B minus, and uh, little by little we went up until we reached the BBB plus uh, ranking, which is just one step away from the A uh, rating. So, anyway, kasama yan dyan sa market sophistication. And then we have uh, business sophistication, and uh, this includes knowledge workers, okay? Also, innovation linkages and uh, knowledge absorption. 
later on you will see na medyo ah well, mababa ang uh, market sophistication natin pero ang business sophistication natin mataas later on makikita natin now uh, <clears throat> uh, there are uh, two other uh, 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 parts of the framework that we see here <clears throat> on the right we see knowledge and technology outputs okay so this is uh, you can know basta knowledge creation uh, knowledge creation knowledge uh, impact and knowledge diffusion okay so uh, dito na pumapasok yung uh, uh, outputs ng research and development for example knowledge creation at saka yung uh, kung ano yung impact nung na generate na knowledge na yon and then uh, knowledge diffusion how we disseminate and how it is being transferred uh, we also have the uh, last or the number seven which is creative outputs okay so this is uh, intangible, uh, intan intangible, assets. intangible assets okay we have creative rules and services and uh, online, creativity. online uh, creativity so intangible assets for example the intellectual property registrations the patents utility models the industrial designs and the copyrights and uh, of course the creative goods and services uh well some of them uh gaming etc and uh, others creative uh, online creativity just yesterday we were uh, in the Kubo uh, program, which is uh, uh, the business incubation program supported by DPI, DOST, and JP Morgan, and we saw a lot of this uh, creative, you know, online creativity that was presented to us as businesses. Anyway, the uh, uh, you can see that on the left side, the five are categorized as innovation inputs and the ones on the right are innovation outputs. It is important to remember this because in the next slide, we will see that we perform better in innovation outputs than in innovation uh, inputs, okay? Uh, so uh, here is the Philippine ranking from 2017 to 2019. Uh, we, of course, uh, I, I became secretary in 2016 and I remember that uh, uh, we were always at the 70 level, okay? Uh, so in 2017, we were ranked 73 uh, out of 126 economies or countries, you know? In uh, 2018, we were still at rank 73 out of 126 economies or countries. Uh, and now, the reason why we want to share this with you is a big jump from number 73 to 54 out of 129 economies. It was a 90-step uh, uh, positive jump for the Philippines. Now, uh, you will see in the third and fourth columns uh, that uh, on the basis, parehong naman nag-improve, you know? uh, uh, basically, uh, nag-improve lahat. Yung innovation inputs, we improved from 83 and 82, naging 76, okay? But uh, the uh, more uh, significant improvement was in the innovation outputs, uh, where we had 65 and 68 runs in 2017 to 2018, and now we jump to 42. So you can see na yung outputs ang medyo nag-pull up sa ating uh, ranking. Although, mataas, tumaas din yung innovation inputs. But uh, uh, you can see na ang uh, innovation outputs ang nag-pull up. So we are now, 2019, 54 among 129 economies featured in the Global Innovation Index. 19 ranks higher than 2018 and 2017 and 76 in inputs, 42nd in outputs. Next slide. Uh, we are categorized, the Philippines is categorized under the lower middle income economies. Okay, middle income tayo, okay, high middle, uh, uh, low, pero dun sa middle, not the tayo sa lower, okay? So, which are the countries that are in this uh, category, okay? Now, uh, uh, there were 10 that were listed here uh, among the uh, lower middle income economies. There are 26 in all, okay? 
and uh, these are uh, listed here. Now, you can see that among the lower middle income economies, the best uh, performers were Vietnam, where it is ranked 42, uh, Ukraine, which is ranked 47, uh, Georgia, which is ranked 48, India, which is ranked 52, Mongolia, which is ranked 53, and the Philippines, which is ranked uh, 54. So, nato tayo sa medyo bracket ng India, Mongolia, and Philippines. Hindi ako makapag-comment about Mongolia, hindi pa ako nakakarating doon. But uh, I must say that uh, being in the bracket of India is to me already a uh, uh, good uh, a, a categorization considering that uh, India has been uh, doing a lot of innovations uh, uh, globally, that is used globally. So that, that is it. Okay. Now, uh, the overview of the Philippine rankings in the seven areas. Dito na natin makikita kung alin talaga yung uh, uh, nag-pull up. Okay? Now, uh, broken down na siya dun sa uh, seven. Seven ba yan? Uh, hindi siya seven. There are one, seven two, ah, seven. Yung pull up pala is the GII. Okay? Kaya ngayon ay tinatanong sa akin dito ni Jen ba? kung ano daw ang definition ng Global Innovation Index, uh, siguro masaya ko na lang. It is a ranking of world economies based on innovation capabilities, consisting roughly of 80 indicators grouped into innovation inputs and outputs. Okay? So, ulitin ko. The Global Innovation Index is a ranking of world economies based on innovation capabilities, Consisting roughly of eight indicators grouped into innovation inputs and outputs. Okay? Ano ang aim niya? The GII, or the Global Innovation Index, aims to capture the multi-dimensional facets of innovation. Now, uh, you can see here that knowledge and technology outputs okay, uh, was uh, uh, up at uh, uh, a rank of 31. Uh, business uh, sophistication was a rank of, at rank of 32. Our index ranking is 54. So, mababa than the ranking, yung infrastructure, yung creative outputs. Kasi nga, uh, kung titignan mo yung ating uh, number of patents gener uh, generated, mababa, mababa pa on an annual basis. Ano? And then, human and capital research, institutions, and market sophistication, Market sophistication uh, ranks quite low, and uh, earlier we, I think, uh, ano nga yung definition natin ng market sophistication? Uh, ito yung credit at saka venture capital, uh, venture capital investments. You know? Now, uh, let us move on to the next slide. Uh, the, the table here gives an overview of the Philippines' strengths and weaknesses. So, uh, Left column would be the strengths, right column are the weaknesses uh, with the rankings uh, indicated. Of course, uh, uh, this is only... Uh, uh, pagka may mga, sub, may mga sub factors yan, kaya ang sabi kanina ay the indicators. No? So you can see in the strengths, ang, uh, ang isang maganda sa atin, we were ranked number one worldwide in the high technology net exports as a percentage of total trade. This is, uh, I think, mainly because of the uh, electronics and semiconductors, which comprises more than 60% of our total manufactured exports. So percentage-wise, wise, it is considered uh, high-tech and uh, percentage-wise, mataas. Kaya number one tayo doon. We were, uh, of course, related to that, number five, in high technology uh, imports as a percentage of uh, total uh, trend. Okay? And dami pa din kasi natin in import uh, na high tech uh, products. Now, uh, you can see that our ICT services exports, I think this is uh, part of the uh, BPO uh, and uh, other uh, uh, products derived from ICT. Uh, services exports because they are considered exports actually. No? Uh, number eight, and the creative goods exports as a percentage of total trade, number eight then. So, yan ang pasok yung mga pinoproduce natin, mga animation and others. Okay? Na, nakalimutan ko pala yung item six, research talent 
as a percentage in uh, business uh, enterprise, which is number six. And I think related yan, dun sa isang number 18 doon, yung graduate in science and engineering, where we were number 18, okay? Uh, worldwide in terms of the numbers, okay? In graduates of uh, science and engineering. And siyempre, uh, if, ano yun, we have enough uh, uh, human resources to feed dun sa mga research uh, uh, talent na kailangan sa businesses. Now, so weaknesses, nandito na yung mga, uh, okay, iba-ibang uh, aspeto, uh, yung iba related sa labor, redundancy dismissals, doon sa ease of starting a business. We are uh, sadly number 119 out of 129. And uh, I think the law on ease of doing business should address that. Uh, but, uh, Kami na lang, I have to confess, yung aming technology interventions, halimbawa sa food and sa pharmaceutical uh, firms that we are assisting, we already help them in applying and meeting the requirements of the FDA. Kasi yun ang kanilang malaking malaking hardware, food and drug, uh, uh, ano ba yung AGM? Food and Drug Authority ba yun? Administration. Now, uh, uh, our expenditure on education, why we cover a big percentage of the population, still our expenditure is very low as a percentage of gross domestic product. We may think that our uh, allocation for education is high. It, it's actually uh, in, in the one of the top uh, rank in terms of expenditure. But the only number one on education of defense. Pero as the percentage of our gross domestic product, mali pa rin ang ating uh, investment to education. Uh, we are low on tertiary inbound mobility. Doon ay ano ba yung sabihin ng inbound mobility. Y yung mga mag-aaral na international pupunta sa Pilipinas. No? Minimeasure nila kasi yung international ano tawag ito, internationalization of uh, tertiary education. Kaya yung ibang bansa, kung napapansin nyo, open or open na scholarships uh, para dumami yung estudyante nila. Eh tayo, nag-uumpisa pa lang dyan. Kami sa DOST, nag-open na kami ng scholarships sa Myanmar, Cambodia, and uh, Laos. Okay? Pero napaka-late lang na po siyempre yun. No?